was it this hash killer and this oh is... hash and w killer oh yeah. okay mm -hmm. okay okay oh we got really dark pit that's interesting of course they started on ps2 oh, wait i think that's backwards yeah I do. hash is the ridley okay okay yeah, so th this is, I, you know, this is a matchup I definitely played before um, as a Pit player. And I feel like, you know, Pit as a character definitely, definitely can combo Ridley to, um, to Infinity, but it seems like right now, uh, Hash is doing a real good job at um, keeping W Killer at a disadvantage, not really letting, um, not really letting Pit get anything started. Really good considering that, you know, like, we probably would like to see, you know, um, really have as much of a lead as possible before, you know, um, W Killer can start getting on any, like, percent that actually start to really scare, um, Ridley. Yeah, and, and, and we saw, we saw Hash with Punish Pit side do with an up smash, and that's, like, always really sad for Pit because they always rely on their side B. To get them through a lot of, uh, to get them through anything, and when um, the super armor runs out, it's like really, really sad. <laughs> but definitely getting some like you know um, very nice uh, extra credit on. But I'm still kind of wondering, you know, oh, and gonna take wow. that kill with an S smash. Very nice. I, I feel that DI was terrible because um, that that four area down smash, is that definitely confirmed? But Ridley from mid stage, I feel like he definitely should have lived that. But um, yeah. still get stopped by W Killer. Already taking it back, probably finding a little bit more of um a way in now that he's starting to understand the matchup. I see just a little bit. Yeah, Very he's nice definitely getting hacked a little bit more respect. Yeah, and it seems like Hash is going for that down smash to try to two frame um, W Killer, but he hasn't hit one yet. But now we have W Killer. He has has Hash in a bad position and um, brute forces his way off the ledge. Hello, sir. sir I, f I feel like we need to deal with his move better. Um, yeah, that that was a pretty crazy confirm. Like up air to up smash is definitely wow. true on um, big body characters like Ridley, but. Really crazy. I would also like to see um, Hash start to ledge trap just a little bit better because it looks like he's definitely trying to go for all of these, you know, situations at the ledge where he can also two frame, but he can also um, try and mix it up maybe and just um, go for a little bit more pressure or maybe even a ledge guarding situation just to make it so that, um, you know, W Killer cannot really make it back to ledge and you can get like, you know, an earlier. Um... Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, because right now, because really the character probably has one of the best ledge trapping tools in the game as, with an air, um, and you you see him going for a lot of these two frame punishes when he could probably just be setting up safe position. Very nice IB. I'm um, gonna be able to get out of that, but this could honestly be anyone's game at this point. You know, at, if anything, this would probably be the best chance to start reading anything so even if you know whoever does lose the game can just take this as a learning opportunity and that's going to be down smash taking the first game w killer we love that yeah and that was really good by w killer because you know after that first stock it just seemed there was um there was just a lot of match uh, unfamiliarity and sometimes when you're not familiar with a character the best thing you could do is slow down the gameplay right just to kind of observe what the other character is doing and it definitely seemed like W Killer, as the as the match progressed, gave Hash a little bit more respect and a little bit more space just to observe the situation, and it definitely worked out for him. Very good. So, um, going into this next game, what do you feel like um, you would like to see different coming in from probably like both of these um, players? Well, just like you said, I feel like Hash definitely needs to go for a little bit more ledge traps, especially with a character like Ridley. Ridley Nair is like probably low key, one of the most impressive aerials, that, but it's just on Ridley. And um, it covers so much range. You could even edge guard a little bit with it. So I feel like that's definitely something um, we could see from Hash going forward. 
Okay, so getting into this next game, um, going to town. This is a very interesting pick um, from Hash, I believe. Um, I'm not really... I haven't seen too many Ridley's go to this stage. So this is very interesting coming in from Hash. I want to see like what he is going to use like the stage for advantage. You know, usually when people pick town, that means that they want to kill somebody early. So I'm, I'm assuming that he probably wants to take a stock somewhere within like this percent range. And um, right now we actually have W color in the position just to do that. And once again, we're going for the two frame punishes, but haven't hasn't gotten one yet. Okay, very nice. Getting him back off stage and killing him. That was at 120 percent, I think. Yeah. Very um, nice. Two percent's already coming into play. Seeing a repeat from the first game, but this is definitely looking like it could be a lot more in favor of Hash if he can definitely control more of the stage for this game. Yeah, and I'm already catching that with. Yeah, I was gonna say already you see Hash like you know giving W Killer a taste of his own medicine, giving a little bit of space. The one thing, good thing that I really like about um Ridley's uh, Smash is that it actually covers a lot of space on the ledge. Or on um, um when talks oh that was a very 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 bad. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the good thing about release last smash is that it covers a lot of space and very nice um edge guarding there coming in from Smash. Yeah, and just and just like you said, you know, I, I, if you know Hatch gets out there and edge guards a little better or even light traps a little better, that could definitely be a game changer. And already we're seeing like Ridley Nair off stage. Um, Side B killing early. The stage is definitely working out for Hash right now. Oh my god, did you see that grab box? <laughs> hey, um, very even percents, but <laughs> one of them is down a stock, so this is gonna be a little bit of a mountain to climb because this is already a lot of extra credit that um, Hash has gotten, so. Uh, okay, I, okay, so I've never actually seen that before in my life, right? Because usually when that side B detects something, that um, swings. And the fact that it looked like Rick, that DI was horrendous. But look, it looked like, it looked like he, it connected with Ridley, but he rolled just in time. I've never seen that before. I've never seen Pitt's side B whiff like that. That was really weird. Hey. Yeah, I'm trying to control a lot more of the um, options that W Killer is going for. Yeah, and you can that see that triangle all... BI, though. How do, how do you feel about that Bermuda Triangle BI? <laughs> it's a little bit scary. Um, but for me, I guess it's just expected at this point sometimes. Mm -hmm. But it's just something that I would hope that W Killer and Hash both would like to work on going forward because they've both had some very questionable DI. Yeah. Um, yeah, because the way you DI Ridley's move, because it can be a little scary, right? Um, getting command grab and getting dragged across the stage. So um, since Ridley's um, side B sends you up and away, you could probably hold up and in and you'll probably survive to a pretty high percent. Um, yeah, speaking of bad intentions and stage picks, we have Lila right now, and this is actually like, for Pit, this is a pretty good stage, like for most characters that chart platforms. Um, Pit is definitely a character who likes to do that, and this stage definitely lends itself for that with all these platforms all over the place. Definitely seeing a little bit more of a different game, you know, W Killer is still falling a little bit into some of the um, issues that he had from uh, these few games, but definitely seeming to control a lot more of this game but honestly this is looking a little bit more even than it was um the past few games so that's really nice oh uh, oh um what okay okay yeah <laughs> so um already though we're seeing hatch be a little bit more uh, way more aggressive off stage than previous games and um i feel like right now um hatch is doing their best job to try to equalize it in that way and already edge guarding but um, <clears throat> W Killer forcing the way off the ledge with side B. Okay, very nice for W Killer going off stage, but didn't really get too much off of that. And going to die from that side B, 
Now, this is definitely a little, looking a little bit more easier for um, W Killer to make up this percent, but I would honestly recommend probably just making it a little bit more safe, or I'm um, trying to be a little bit more safe so that he can take this stock a little bit easier. Because he's had a little bit of an issue with, um, you know, whipping a lot of moves in neutral, so it'd probably be best to <laughs> just calm down a little bit and just try and see um, what his moves he can use to kill easier and is not gonna take it that after. Um, yeah, and you know, like, like we were talking about earlier when it comes to ledge trapping and edge guarding from Hash's side, and I feel like right now W Clear is having the same problem. They're, they seem like they're frantically throwing out a bunch of attacks. Um, before Hash even gets to the legend, not really. Um, not even ledge trapping, you know, with a purpose, but still taking that with an up smash. Um, and, you know, still pretty good, pretty good um, lead for Hash. Oh, that was a very nice um, ledge pressure, or on um, platform pressure, sorry. Yeah, it was definitely an ambitious punish, but um, yeah, and it, it actually made uh, Wisp. W can get off of the platform, just like you said. Uh, one fireball into up smash. Very uh, nice. That was very nice. Yeah. So, so the thing about pitch orbitar is you could hit it from under and over. Um, that's the weak spot. Um, even if even if the orbitars are out in full strength, you could do that. Yeah, and you know, right now it just seems like Hash is turtling at the ledge, and you know, Pit is a character that does have pretty good grab confirmed at the ledge, but that doesn't matter because we just throw a down smash and neutral in the back of the down smash is uh, insane. This is definitely in the realms of the possibility to make up this comeback, but it's gonna be a little bit if we're gonna see, you know, um, W Killer trying to make this back. Yeah. Yeah, and right now, okay, now W Killer has has hash in the air, and then, now this is where Pit shines. Pit is really good at juggling, and right now we got 82 percent unanswered, and he has hash at the ledge. Let's see if he can capitalize on it. And oh, okay, that was that was a good force mesh read though, but still not taking it. Anyone's game at this point. So honestly, just waiting to see, you know, who makes the first mistake. That'll actually allowed to, you know, take this, um, victory 2-1, uh... Wow. Um, and that was, that was wild, because it, it looked like Hash threw out a, uh, threw out Ridley's side beat, and he clipped him with the up smash, like, right as he was trying to do that, and that's, uh, it's pretty wild. Mm, yeah. Very nice, though, from W Killer. Getting that up smash, I was very surprised, a little bit surprised at that hit. But it yeah. looked like that, yeah, that just clipped them just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, um, pit up smash scoop, so like in the front of it, it actually does have a scoop hitbox. And um, oh. Rid Ridley's body takes up the whole screen, so, you know, those two factors combined uh, <laughs> was a good thing for Ridley.